you want to check it out, and check it out because grand opening and grand closing. Now, niggas, okay? We toss the word niggas around frequently, but to be honest, man, you really don't want to be around a nigga, okay? And it might sound backwards because we got niggas, and then we got niggas, okay? The last pronunciation is a pronunciation of the type of people that when you're in their presence, you actually check your wallet every 15 minutes. You got to hold on to your pockets. You got to hurry up and buy. You can't hang around. You got to stay by the exits, and if you're in a motherfucking club with them and too many of them, okay, actually over three... Prepare to die or have a bulletproof vest. Now, this is what's going on right here. Because you got to say, man, think about it, right? When they had a brawl at the uh, Queen's Casino at Fat Tuesdays, those weren't niggas. Those were niggas, okay? It's a difference. Big difference. Hard to define, but you know one when you see them. Now, T.I., Clifford Harris, he's a businessman, entrepreneur, reality star, and also part-time English teacher. Now, he figured he would bring some black business to Atlanta. So he opened up like this like restaurant type thing. It's called Scale 925. And they were offering or their, their menu is pretty much filled with soul food. Now, who don't love some soul food? Now, lo and behold, right? Not even like too long after it's been open. It's only been open like maybe like a couple of months. <laughs> Not even. But I think maybe like a couple of weeks. Let's say a couple of weeks, okay? There's already a shooting on the premises, right? Now, police say five to six niggas that were arguing inside the venue, and it quickly escalated and spilled onto the parking lot. And, of course, somebody pulled out a gun, shot the other guy in the leg, because we all know, okay, niggas, they do not argue, they shoot. Now, the victim got shot, right? He didn't hang around for the police nor the ambulance. Of, co of course, he's a nigga as well. So he fled in a Porsche. Now, the police kind of responded, and then they actually found the people who fled in the Porsche, which was actually the victim. He was kind of bleeding out. But police also found 240 grams of weed in the vehicle and $6,000 worth of cash. Okay, so they arrested the victim for reckless conduct and also possession of marijuana. Now, they questioned the victim, saying, do you know the nigga who actually shot you? And the guy, of course, said, listen, uh, I know nothing. I know nothing. Okay, so he's claiming he doesn't know the shooter. The police, they're trying to get more leads, but apparently T.I. was smart enough to have surveillance cameras around the premises, which supposedly captured the incident. So police will be trying to arrest the nigga who actually did the shooting. And, hey, what do you expect? Okay, to be honest, man, and I know a lot of people, it, it feels counterproductive because we're all a part of this Black Lives Matter, black people, we're so great. But come on, okay, there's a certain subsection which I call niggas, okay? Sometimes they call themselves savages. But there's a certain subsection of black people, right? When you are in their presence, you know fuckery will ensue, okay? And to be honest, if you love your life, you will quickly escape, okay? Get in comments, what do you guys think about this? Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. By the way, T.I. was definitely not on the premises. It has nothing to do with T.I. other than it was his venue. You could imagine probably attracted some niggas, okay? I'm out.